to uh, fill us in on a couple of uh, pretty interesting playoff games. Yeah, well, it's a good night. It's a darn good night, and we'll get to Canucks in a second. But uh, start with uh, Game 3, the Salmon Kings' first round of UCHL Kelly Cup playoff series against the Idaho Steelheads. Now, Victoria won the first two games of the series on the weekend in Boise, and they picked up right where they left off tonight. And what a first period we had. We had goals, hits, even a broken pane of glass at the Save on Foods Memorial Center. Let's check it out. The Salmon Kings get the crowd into this game just 40 seconds into the first period. A big, fat, Juicy rebound for Patrick Colombe, sneaking in from the point. He beats Matt Climey. one nothing for the Santa Kings, and the fans were digging that at the Save on Foods Memorial Center. They had the white flags going tonight, but the Steelheads would get that one back a few minutes later. It is a weak one. A beach ball from Dan Welch. Fools Todd Ford ties this game up at one to one, but the rest of the first period would be all Salmon Kings. They get it going on the power play. Island boy Aaron Brocklehurst beats Climey. Two goals, both by defensemen, and a 2 1 Victoria lead. And speaking of Island boy, Sean O'Connor then gets sent in alone on the breakaway. The nifty move makes it a 3 1 game for Victoria. That would be it for Climey's night. And Rayshon Boschman comes in. And then that's for the Steelheads. But different goalie, same result. Another Kings goal. Again, it's on the power play. This time it's Olivier Philly on his first of the postseason. Makes it 4-1 Victoria. And Stacy, the boys are not done yet with the first frame. Check out this great open ice hit from Sean O'Connor. Textbook. Then with 44 seconds left in the first period, the boys add another. Olivier LaBelle, his third in three playoff games, and it was 5-1 for the Salmon Kings. And then with .6 of a second left in the first period, the physical play, too much for the plexiglass. Check out that mess. You make it 5-1 Victoria after the first more offense for the home team in the second. Power play goal, the Kings captain and leading scorer during the regular season. Wes, Wes Goldie, his first of the postseason, makes it 6-1. And then less than a minute later, another power play goal. This time it is Scott House. And how about them Salmon Kings? They were up 7-1. It was 8-1 after the second period, moving to the third. Salmon Kings will give one up. It is sniper Brian McGregor. That cut Victoria's lead to 8-2, to two, but our boys will get that one back. And uh, check this out. The goal of the night. Scott Howes will get his second goal of the game. A dandy. Salmon Kings over the Steelheads big time. 9-2 the final in front of 4,086 fans. Victoria has a stranglehold on the series now. Uh, three games to nine, game four, Friday night at the Save on Foods Memorial Center. The first period today was huge. Uh, I think that was the the key uh, the key for us today. Start uh, to have a big start, strong start because uh, they uh, they start the game pretty hard too. But we uh, we we had a couple uh, good bounce for you for us, so uh, it helped it helped a little bit. But uh, yeah, we had a. Uh, we start uh, really strong tonight in front of our fans. I uh, know I didn't expect that, uh, what we uh, had tonight, that's for sure. But uh, I don't really think it was a 9-2 hockey game. We seem to bury all our chances. And, uh, you know, I, I thought in the first period, uh, they uh, wasn't a 5-1 first period. They had some chances. I thought our defense played fairly well. But uh, they had us pinned in our end for a little while. And then 5-on-3 power play kind of changed the game around. We got the next two. And, it wasn't much of a game after that. Alrighty, to the big.